Latifah Simon, and I was actually born and raised in this neighborhood. Uh, my uh, grandfather, if you're old school to San Francisco, you know Bunny Simon, created many of the jazz clubs here in San Francisco. The Red Vic, before it was a Red Vic, was the Anxious Ass, and he opened eight uh, black nightclubs in this district, which cemented, um, honestly, my political uh, and social orientation to this neighborhood. I was evicted uh, from my home as a high school student in, in 1997, um, then from a beautiful Victoria. We moved then to the projects, the Bannockers. Um, I went to George Washington High School as a teen mom. I have a 20-year-old baby. Um, life has changed since then, clearly. I've had four jobs. The first, I ran the Center for Young Women's Development here in San Francisco for 11 years as the executive director, where we procured millions of dollars for young women and girls who are being trafficked, but more importantly for girls who are locked behind bars. I was one of those young women myself, and that's how I got into the work. I was doing a ton of HIV, STD outreach, and underground needle exchange um, in my teenage years, which all gave me so much insight into what was not happening. And was lucky, luckily enough, after 11 years of running the center, to go run reentry programs for Kamala. When she was a DA, there was no way that I would have ever worked for any district attorney who locked up our people except for Kamala. She was giving me an opportunity to get people out of the system, um, especially first-time felony crack offenders or young men and women, black and brown. Uh, we created a great program, reduced recidivism amongst over 3,000 young people by less than 10%, um, which was a, was a national, now renowned program. And I did that for five years. Went to go run a lawyer's committee and did the very same thing, it really centered their work. Um, and from like liberal work to progressive work and focusing on criminal justice. And actually they started a clinic that still operates right across the street for second chance and records removal. Now I work in progressive philanthropy um, because of all my time on the streets um, and in communities here. Now I have the access to resources and I, and I support and I fund, I believe, rebellious and ridiculous leaders. Segrega Anti-segregation work was ridiculous you know, 60 years ago. All that is to say, now that I am you know, parenting these two babies, I have a 20-year-old and a 5-year-old. I married a radical journalist who died two years ago um, of leukemia. I'm back on the bus. I'm legally blind. I was born in this city in 77. I was one of the few children who lived, at, born at 27 weeks, hence these glasses. So all the justice work that I've done, now being back on transit, being pro-worker, being pro-economic justice, pro-queer justice, uh, but mostly like pro-economic engine, knowing that for whatever reason, we have had few progressive and skilled voices in transit justice and in infrastructure. It's not about tracks. It's very clear to me it is about equal, accessible, accountable uh, transit, both Muni, VTA, which is also in my district, and AC Transit. And as a BART director, I will not do what my opponent did, is throw workers under the bus. We'll develop a long-range plan, but the reality is, the here and now, my aunts who live in Hunters Point are still living in a transit desert, and BART is not going to immediately shift and change that. What we need to do is figure out how to work and what I have done and will continue to do, but as a BART director, to make things practical for real people um, I'm not running to be a politician. I'm running because I'm tethered to a system and I'm on it every single day as a commuter with now 20 years of policy experience and appointed experience. I'm also on the CSU Board of Trustees um, and, and weathered that process and saw what we could do as a board working with the government and, and our chancellor to prevent a strike, knowing how to keep systems running and managing a multi-billion dollar budget. I can do this job and I'm going to do it with an equity lens first. So. That was longer than I thought, but you get a little bit of who I am. A little bit of who I am, a little bit of what I stand for. So, any questions?